something about an old dog new tricks. <laughs> What are the humans doing? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sasquatch Shields. We're Sasquatch Shields, so you don't have to. I am running a hair bit late. I've got everything up and running with the exception of proper links and chat. Uh, yeah, no, actually, um, I think Ernie, nope, wrong one. But no, she's great, too. I like Danny Day. She's previous guest. Anyway um i'm going to bring up my guest and let her explain what her channel's about and then uh, while she's doing that i'm gonna finish my little bit of housekeeping i gotta do with like a little poll question and getting the links pinned at the top and all that cool stuff you know how it works around here we try to be at least partially uh useful um i didn't get any other clips because uh, my youtube has just been absolute trash today and may or may not work it, it started yesterday with people and I have no idea why that is or what's going on, but for some strange reason, for the moment, we seem stable. She seems stable, so we're going to light this candle and see what we can do with it. What I want to know is, do it jiggle. Jiggle? You <laughs> jiggle, want me jiggle. to jiggle? Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Yeah, jiggle. <laughs> okay. Hello, I'm Danny May with Danny May's Adventures, where the lives are always professional, technology is outstanding, and the Wi-Fi always works. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna hijack that. For the you can hijack that. It's um, not copyrighted. No, it's absolutely bullshit. <laughs> it's great, <laughs> hey, premium bullshit, but bullshit. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> ever properly. But here's the secret to a good show: yeah. if I don't tell them it's messing up, they don't know. All they get are weird looks from me, going, "Why did that happen? What in the world was this? <laughs> God, what is that? Oh, no, that's not right." <laughs> It's it's the same, it's the same with my stutter. Like, but I'm I'm the type of person where I'm constantly like, oh, I just stuttered. And yesterday it was a bad stutter day. Just to let you all know, my birthday was on Sunday. Uh, okay. I hurt my back, so seven seven ten. Thank you for the happy birthday wishes. Yeah, I and I hurt my back, and I'll leave it all up to your imagination as to what i was doing on my birthday what you're saying is it too jiggle and it wiggle I've... wiggle yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you need i got you i got you this uh, is me yesterday totally in pain no makeup except okay, for a so lip gloss so. We're, we're getting a little older in our ways you know okay. it's, it's maybe Good. just me but i've found that i was never gay before but since i turned about 40 i've been gay quite a lot mm-hmm uh, 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 Being gay? I'm sorry. Terrible, <laughs> terrible. Really sure the Pretty sure that was the head injury speaking. Um, all right, oh so goodness. let me. Uh, all right, let's find out if the joke. Um, so your channel is largely um, interviews. You do face-to-face -face interviews with creators, not unlike what I do, but more, I guess, personable. Yeah, or, it's. Or, sorry. There's a little bit of a delay. This is this is my the person that I interviewed yesterday, um, and she was singing "Happy Birthday" to me with her with the dog that sang "Happy Birthday," um, which was thank you, Ernie, for putting that up there. Um, and so I mean, I started out basically. I was just like, I have 300 subscribers without putting out a video, and so I was just like, hey. I might as well do a video. So I started out just like with 19 questions. I did some reselling at the time. I had chickens and. Um, that explains a little bit. I've wondered why there was a distinct click of resellers in your chat. You don't seem uh, yeah. to do that, stuff, but they're there and they're hardcore. They are. They are hardcore. And they're us living in. Deal, they are. Yeah. When you were like resellers, what? Um, no, I see, no. It just—I I guess I've just never thought about it. It's never crossed my mind before. So yeah. when I saw that, I was like, "Wait, somebody explain this to me." They did immediately. Metal music. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh. I guess I pinned that, not you. I thought he was right. in the no, house. Okay. Watching one of your shows because yeah. this is your show. <laughs> okay, sorry. I oh, see how it works, right? <laughs> okay. 
I uh, see how uh, it works. Okay, you got me. You got um, a list of guests that are like uh, aren't longer than my arm and leg combined. How many? How many guests do you reckon you've uh, you've actually interviewed? Uh, oh, and right? oh wow! Um, wow, I'm oh, putting the number conservatively maybe 250. It could be significantly more. I don't know. I haven't counted individual. You know, of but people that numbers, I've no. interviewed, not but that you many. Know. You don't reckon you got a bunch of videos, a bunch of different people. Yeah, I it, and what's really cool is like, I mean, just yesterday, this video right here, she has like 340 something subscribers. And right. then I also have people that come on that have 16,000, 50,000. Yeah, um, right. it's it's focus towards the smaller end of the community because I believe that people who have over 10, 20, 30,000, for the most part, they've done their thing. They know what they're doing and yep. they're doing it the way they want to. You can't influence those people at all because they, they're confident in what they're doing and they're continuing with their plan. When you find somebody who accidentally falls into success and they don't know what to do with it, I'd like to be around to be like, all right, first thing you need to do Secure your freaking site. Get all of the the peripheral domain names that you can. Just log in and see if you can get them. There you go. That's really great like advice. People when they start their second account. That's the real trick. You've talked about the second accounts. Yes, ma'am. Uh, if you're planning on doing YouTube YouTubery for life, if you're just a YouTuber from this day forward, you make that God. decision. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at my hair right there. I look so horrible yesterday. I look even more horrible now. And Do you have a particular <laughs> video you would rather watch while we uh, discussion? It's no. neither here nor there. I usually do the most recent, the most viewed, and the first. That's that's the most recent, definitely. And that was yesterday when I was just like not feeling good and. Um, and I'm still not feeling well. And I'm going to take a muscle relaxer after the show. Um, I've been waiting all day for that. Uh, but no, so as far as reselling, I do um, offer up. But I'm into, obviously, I've done a lot of paranormal um, shows. It's just really difficult finding the right time to have people on. Because I like to do my lives when, thank you, 710. Um, I like to do my lives when Jake is um, out of the house, so there's no interruptions, there's no disruptions and stuff, so, um, and he's very disruptive, and yeah, I'm sure your wife and I have the same complaints. <laughs> um, it's possible, but I'm a bit of, a, of an underbridge troll, I've retired from general trollery, so nowadays, more or less, I pretty much stay in my room. Um, there you go. I'm either in here tinkering with videos or tinkering with OBS or tinkering with something else, or I'm in the yard tinkering on some vehicle. Um, nice. So nice. The, past, the past six weeks, probably, there hasn't been a whole lot of interaction between me and wife's watching. In fact, I'm supposed to go on a, a YouTube meet this weekend with somebody. And. Oh. I still haven't finished hammering out those plans, and that's not like me. I usually get this like, like, almost missing today show. That's so completely unlike me that I actually screamed like a little schoolgirl when I realized I was <laughs> like, I was I literally like, ah, <laughs> I squealed like a schoolgirl. Was like, oh my god, because I don't, I don't do that. I don't do that ever. I don't do that. But I was a little distracted trying to get yeah, fine. From the computer and. I just woke up and started tinkering and didn't think about it. But anyway, anyway, I'm sorry. I got that. I got sidetracked on my own. Little now, thing. Violence is life. It says I need a nap. Dude, if I'm not entertaining you, you just let me know. How do I need to entertain you so that we could keep you up for a little bit? Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is where I put the. I See? That's brilliant. I, I don't care how stupid I look or. <laughs> like, uh, no, we, we are but dancing like monkeys strutting our day across the stage. That is all that we can do is attempt to be entertaining yeah. and on with our life. That's why when people are like, hey, can I use a video? Can I use the TV? Can I? I don't give a damn. And you know yeah. why? 
even if you go cheese me out and look terrible, it may go viral, viral and put a roof on my house. Nice. All it takes is one good video, and if I can't do it, and you can using my video, go right for it. I don't even, I don't even mind hate watchers. I was such a horrible troll earlier in my career that I just, I don't mind them. They don't bother me. See, I even I, keep most of my trolls around when they show up in chat. I'll, I'll do some out for the current uh, show and then let them, and then unblock them later so they can come by and troll again. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll keep them up for a little bit. Hi, Starika. He always says, focus, uh, Ernie focus, Hatt Danny. Made an excellent point. What's um, that, hun? And Ernie Hatmaker made an excellent point. Uh, grab the closest Cash App username to your YouTube channel as soon as possible to beat the scammers to it. I may have made that error. Oh, no. Does somebody... I don't know. I haven't tried yet. Uh, I don't have a Cash App because I don't want donations. Yet. Oh. I have a yeah. PayPal, and I love right. donations. I have so. like <laughs> uh, actually, I'm supposed to be trying to link your freaking page right no, you don't need to. No, no, I don't want anyone. No, that's part. It's part of the show. It's what we. <laughs> you don't get the choice now. <laughs> oh my god! It's just the way it is, man. You just flip through it. It'll be. It won't hurt. Much. And I'll apologize when I'm done. Well, you said once you got over a thousand, you would put in something, um, some yeah, type of cash app, or, and no, you didn't. You did didn't not. do it. I did not do yeah. that. Thing. You're correct. Um, yeah, who's all pissed at Sasquatch right now because he didn't do it? What he said, he promised us. But I don't, I don't want your money. <laughs> I just don't want. <laughs> yeah, I don't want it. Well, I mean, he told you. Oh, go ahead. I just I don't I don't have what. I don't want to understand why anyone would give it to me. Why? <laughs> I mean, I'll do it eventually. I mean, I've got, there's a few things I have to do in order to actually do some of the uh, background stuff that I was wanting to use this channel to try to leverage myself into, like the Rumble live stream or uh, cross platform type stuff. But um, I wasn't really planning on doing it with this channel, honestly. I figured I'd been deuced out long before now. Okay, speaking of the second channels, I meant to ask you about this. I was thinking about doing a second channel. My voice is... We lost you there for a second. Okay, yeah, my daughter was calling him, but she knows I'm doing the show right now, or I'm, I'm here now. Um, so i was thinking my voice is very distinctive um sure. she just texted me and said put dial um so i was thinking about doing another show just and just see how it works and um without people knowing that it's actually me i i, sure. I know that kind of sounds like sleazy no, no. or no, like totally secretive I've got a totally different format that I have tucked away on my OBS that I'm going to use for my backup channel, if that's what you want to call it. It's not really a backup channel at all. I'm planning it as a retirement channel, hmm. right? I'm just going to stick it over there and upload things that I absolutely know clear copyright and put the things that work over there. Yeah. But until then, um, most of my guests have been nice enough to... Uh, you know, at least give me a little bit of a backstage peek, so to, so to speak, on some of their video performances of the type of things that work in their community, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, I think that may have given me a little bit of a glimpse behind the curtain on how to, you know, affect growth on a channel. And it's, it's yeah. not a horribly difficult thing. It's just that what type of growth do you want? It's, we it's true. Night, but you wouldn't like the people that come. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's true. You know, I've seen a guy get monetized for 14 days. And he did it by having every troll on earth come and come. Oh, wow. They all invited him on and he just sat there and took it because he knew if he could sit through it long enough, he would start a brand new channel monetized out the box. Okay, man, if you want to sit there and suffer through that, that's fine. 
Um, I'm going a long game though. I got a different a different game plan. Yeah. I'm uh thank you all for sharing. Hey, and, uh, Welcome yeah. to the show. Thank you. They usually go through chat by now, but I haven't done it. Um let's I'm gonna back up and take a swing at that. Okay, take a swing. We're playing oh, baseball now. We have Danny Let's Day's homestead with the gold. We got 710 as oil upside down for the silver. We <laughs> <laughs> get the bronze with a link. Mama Nome's come in to see us. That's good to see. I love to see Mama Nome around. Alyssa Stedman, she's in here. We got Tennessee Paranormal. Tennessee Paranormal Sam. Sam. Cool Violence is life is in the house. We've got ooh, that drunken chef come through. Always glad to see him. I'm hoping to do an uh, interview with him in a couple of weeks. So oh, nice. I got so nice. backed up on editing stuff that it just became a, just impossible to really do anything. I got cleared up yesterday afternoon, did a show last night. Uh, I'm here doing another show today. Now I'm behind again. Congratulations. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> uh, Sturica. 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 Yeah. I'm, it's, it's still so much better to say it my way. Sturica. Sturica. Right? Don't it just feel good coming out the mouth? Sturica. I don't want to say we got Eli Fam, 1983. Good to see you, brother. Uh, all of y'all, actually. And Captain K. Man. I'm son. There you um, go. I have no idea he has a son. I have no idea. But I assume if he's going to be Captain Caveman, he's at least trying to make it. <laughs> good on you, mate. <laughs> good on you, mate. Emma Jane, good to see you. Welcome to the show. I, it's good to see everybody out there. I don't usually yeah. do shows this early, but then again, I also don't usually do them at midnight. Yeah. Well, so, thank you for changing your time for me. I, oh, no, I really do you. appreciate it. Currently, ever since I hit a thousand subs, I said I'd take YouTube more seriously seriously and so the way i've decided to do that is i let the guests pick their times mm. you know when you're open i'm retired and i don't really sleep anyway so the only problem is is sometimes we have situations like happen today like people want uh people was available last night you're available this afternoon and we've had a little bit of scheduling for buffalo in the past so we did I'm, I'm Sasquatch, my bad now because when you said i'll be gone like Okay, everyone in the chat. Did everyone I in the chat. I, we didn't say the specific date, and that's what confuses me. Because, uh, like, if you're on the freeway and you're coming up to an exit, do you say take the next exit, meaning this one that's coming towards you, or the next one after the one that's coming right towards right. you? Right. And well, so don't break contact with the road and peel out in a right turn to get in there. <laughs> no, I get what you're saying. Um, I guess I peeled out then. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't I don't I don't know. I'm sure it was me. I've got a lot of you of a uh, uh, email stuff going on in the back backstage and it's yeah. not all YouTube related. So it gets yeah. kind of confusing yeah. sometimes. Like specifically uh, I hosted Danny Day's homestead last week week before last nice, and yeah. at the time i had you and her were both emailing me and i kept getting you two mixed up and that <laughs> made very whole sort because my brain is stupid it doesn't think thoughts right i would look at it and wouldn't see the icon would just see danny and because you know i'm doing other stuff at the same time hey belt loop welcome to the show good to see you brother i wanted to redo a belt loop show too uh Nice. We had a failure of communication with him too, or something. Something happened. Yeah. Still had a good show that. Pretty cool. It just wasn't a Sasquatch Shield. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I've been working on my hours because I took like a year long break. And um, when I came back, I had lost like all the hours that I had before. Otherwise, I would be monetized right now. And what's monetization? I'd probably make $2 a month. I mean, right. so it doesn't really totally matter but um and so when i do the 20 questions it's not actually like 20 questions like we went 13 in the video that you're showing right now 13 minutes and love her i love mkt yvonne um but 
we she was talking so much i think it was 13 mon- minutes into the show before i could ask her the first question and stuff so. oh, i love those people now they're my favorite uh, free I, yeah just we sit will back see. relax oh, yeah. i was, on. I was yeah. on four hours with people last night Dang. <laughs> cause he wanted to talk about it okay yeah, but most of the people that I know are resellers. So if anybody wants to be on like my paranormal chats, which I try to do on Mondays or the 20 questions, like I'll, you know, I'll, I'll definitely have you on. I am s- scheduled through September, but I am working on October's and I've just been trying to do like three shows a week on on my channel so a lot of people don't realize how much work three shows a week be you think oh you just go live once a day or whatever it's no big deal and there may come a time when it's that easy but reality and a lot of people's shows aren't as complicated as mine so maybe they Um, work here but yeah sasquatch true that like a hundred percent like once again I'm not professional. My technology sucks. I only work off of my phone. My Wi-Fi mm-hmm. barely works. Thank God, um, the middle of October, we are going to move into an area where the Wi-Fi is working better. Um, um, so, but I do want, you know, I had Maple Cook, um, who is not a chef, but he has a lot of cooking videos on my channel, different resellers. I'm trying to think, is there anybody else that I've had on that wasn't a reseller? I would have to go back and look. Um, Cause I, I want the paranormal people and the, the metal detecting people and, and the resellers to enjoy my content. Um, oh, I've had Bobby um, from Earth and Water Tarot. And actually, she's going to be on my show again on Monday, and she does tarot card readings. So, y'all, if you're interested in that, just, I, yeah. I tune into a few channels like that. I, I can't remember the names off the top of my head, or, or rather, when I remember them, I get their names mismatched. So, I never send anyone to the right channel. Uh, oh. <laughs> One's like, uh, I know, I'm going to ruin it again. I never can get it right. One's like JJ's Tarot's and Adventures, and one's like JJ's Adventures and uh, Futures or something like that. They're different people. They're totally different channels. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, <sighs> okay. So the whole time he was saying that Danny Day was going to be on the show, he was actually saying Danny May, and then this time he reversed it. No, I'm kidding. But... um yeah, I've I've had um, old school flips on, but I've also um, am having old school picks that's going to be on. Um, those names get me every time when they're so close together. So um, it's hard, uh, especially here's my my biggest people, ladies and gentlemen. This would be one of the greatest bits of YouTube re advice I've ever given any audience. Okay. When you get a channel, whether you start the channel on a different email or not, get the email that syncs with your channel. Because I don't know who D Rusty76 is. I have no clue. <laughs> I can't figure out who that guy he wants an interview, but I can't figure out what channel he's got. And he hasn't told me. So D Rusty76, whoever you are, wherever you are, just <laughs> send me a link to your channel. We'll talk about it, man. I'm not saying no. I just. What am I supposed to do if I don't know who you are? I'd like to do an interview. Great. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Hi, I'm Zaxon. <laughs> I'm Zaxon. I'm Zaxon. Hello, hon. Good. That's a good moniker. I like that. It's pretty good. Well, I mean, have you reached out to him and been like, who the hell are you, man? I send him an email about once every month or so. Oh, okay. Uh, they, I, they, I guess they just don't check their email often, maybe. It took me okay. four months to get through to one guy. He was like, yeah. I lost this phone. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> Look what yeah, Ernie said. Every time he gets a new phone, I guess. <laughs> All right. Look what Ernie's saying. Let me introduce everyone to someone I don't know. Exactly. Right? 
no, but there's a bit of a trick to that, you see, uh, because we're dealing with YouTubers, you have a very unique ability to go and learn about them beforehand. You can just balls deep off into all their content for like four hours. And if nothing else, you leave with a general impression of the general type of person they are. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I got a question for you, though. I got two questions for you. Um, the first question is, do you do subscribers only on your lives? Nope. At least not so far. I was thinking about doing that with my chilling with Sasquatch ones and just let okay. it just Instead of having a paywall or anything, you just got to subscribe. You can come in and see what kind of stupidity I do. Actually, you can come in and see what kind of stupidity I do anyway. Just in chat. So wait, you, I, I blinked out or I zoned out. Um, so you don't do subscriber only? Not, I haven't. Okay. Uh, usually, I figure the more the merrier. There you go. No, I like that. I like that. Um, but the Sasquatch Hill shows, I don't think will ever be subscriber only unless I start having a serious troll infestation or something yeah yeah knock on wood you don't get that yeah well, i got nuclear mods it's unlikely yeah okay so that was my second question is i've always had everyone just be a mod if i know them and and i said once i hit 1000 i i'm not going to make people mods anymore however since i've hit a thousand people would come in and they would be like the only ones that are like, um, great. And I felt bad. 710 is smoking up a storm, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, 710, there, there's, there's uh, no harm in being a troll unless you use your troll powers for harm. Uh, I mean, you can just be an asshole and run around and say whatever you like and it's fine. It's, it's when you actually start trying to uh, damage people in some way with your troll powers that it becomes a, an actual problem. Yeah. And I was discussing it with some folks last night about whether or not there's such or night before last, whether or not there's such a thing as good troll powers. And I can't help but think there are because depending on how you target your targets, it not necessarily <laughs> be a bad thing. Uh, there's there's. Uh a lady named uh, Scarlett, um, her channel name is Toilet Girl. And oh. everybody thought that she was a troll. And then now she's like everywhere and people just love her. And uh, it's so funny how you think because of certain names that channels have and stuff like that, that you're automatically a troll. And yeah. Well, here's What's the thing. The, yeah, diff the difficulty of defining a troll is in the fact that the knee-jerk response is to define anyone who disagrees with you as a troll, and that's not the case. Some mm. people are just assholes. They're not trolling. They're Did serious. They just don't care. They exist. A troll is someone who goes out of their way to manipulate your channel in some fashion. like And instance, make your life miserable. They can. They can. Yeah. Uh, I try not to make how-to videos on trollery because I've got some, some pretty effectively nasty methods. See, I never damaged anyone's income. But what I would do is 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 jerk around their numbers so much that they would quit. Oh, wow. You have 200 people watching one day and two people the next. That shit's soul crushing. But the way you really make that stick is you have you know, 20, 30 people watching every day month mm -hmm. and then wait for them to say something slightly off color and jerk all your profiles your profiles all your other troll friends profiles and stuff i mean i don't even know the technology or have the time for that that's quite creative <laughs> um oh there's more there there's way more little things wait little things. there's like more <laughs> 30 profiles go into a room 29 of them don't make any impact or get douched out one of them ends up being a mod, then what happens? And you can be a perfectly mm. reasonable mod and look like a great guy and a great mod and be totally killing a channel by simply syncing the wrong links. Instead of by dropping links that wow. let them drop down, see a channel while still in the live, drop a link that takes them specifically to another video, they may not come back to this live. In fact,
they probably won't. They'll get distracted by something else between here and there and never come back. That type of a mod can kill your channel. It will look like you're dying. But in reality, people are just getting distracted by the other links in chat. What's been weird for me lately is I've had two people come in that have always been mods for me. And they're like, why Why don't I have a wrench? And, and yeah, no, I, I, clone, clone accounts, right? Huh? It's not the real person. It's somebody with their same name and same picture. Oh. Ah, because mm. they're mods, right? You made them a mod? Did you remove the mod status? No. Okay. Well, then, until they prove they are the individual they are presenting, you can't mod them. Think about okay. it. It's very, okay, would you let somebody you'd never seen come up on your uh, panel? Mm, probably not, no. Under certain circumstances, perhaps, right? Perhaps. I'll do it, but usually, okay, the probability of it it's very low. is low. Yeah. Very, very low. <laughs> very, very low. Under, yeah. you can do with a YouTube channel mm -hmm. is give someone else screen time. <sighs> and that's what we do. So, <laughs> and yet you asked me on. <laughs> How crazy yeah, are no, you? <laughs> No. It's, that's that's the game we play. That's the situation we're in. We are literal troll magnets because of the nature of the way we do things. We have to interact with these people. We have to have that conversation before yeah. anyone else gets to see us have a conversation. And have have I gotta say, I don't know if, if your peeps know this or not, but um, you were actually on my channel. Mm hmm and that was the first time I met you and it was such a fun show and I got to tell you there's a lot of women that really dig you <laughs> oh, well, I mean, they're welcome to it I'm kind of like peanut butter you can spread me around however you like but um, <laughs> just to be clear I like my coffee the same way I like my women hot sweet and creamy there you go there you go everyone take notes um yeah no, no. <laughs> um, no i have absolutely no idea how to deal with stuff like that um i just i i'm, I'm a bit autistic and social cues bounce right off of me i, I just don't notice i don't get it well you're a hot commodity okay can i show you something real quick um, I'm gonna try uh, to after that. Intro, I'm not sure. <laughs> that might no, be the wrong no. Channel. <laughs> okay, it's a, no, 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 <laughs> not on that topic. I just gotta okay. make sure, like, when I put my camera on, okay, you could see that. Okay, All so right. I'm gonna put it like this. I don't want you guys to see me, but um, Jake, Jake from State Farm 710 was talking about it. Um, is, is my partner, um. And he works at a show that, um, or a place that has a high turnover. Let's just call them condominiums. And, and so what they do in these condos, like when people move out and stuff, they have like this huge Goodwill bin type of thing that Goodwill will pick up once a week. Okay. So he found these. Wait, where do we go? Okay. These are lapis lapis. Lazuli. Yeah. Thank you. Um, sterling silver. So, I mean, obviously he got them for free and then he got this necklace, which is, um, tiger's eye black onyx. Look at the clasp on this thing. And I didn't do my nails. My apologies. Um, the clasp on this is like, how do I do it? There we go. Oh, that's it's just cool. incredible. It is um, Mexican sterling silver. Don't be racist. Um, no, I'm not. Crime from. Cry mini. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make me racist. Don't take don't take me seriously. I mean, you're talking about a tiny Sasquatch. Come on, man. Dear Lord. <laughs> so <laughs> the um uh 
the earrings are probably like resell, which I wouldn't do, are probably around 40 bucks. The necklace is probably around um, about 30, 40 dollars. But this is the prize, okay? This is Malachite, it's vintage, okay? It's yeah. vintage. This is, and it looked too yellow for me, but we found a marking on the bottom um, oh, yeah. that says 14K, and it also says MB. And I found out today that MB is um, a marking for, I forget the name, um, but it's, it's for this for designer that was out of the 1920s and so it has like this class yeah, that would be my guess. yeah and the brooch and okay i'm gonna turn my camera off um so you could wear it as a brooch or uh whatchamacallit um a necklace and so i cannot wait i mean free free stuff and we have like a free italian leather jacket so i do want to take these in to get like you know appraised um from someone who knows their stuff you know knows what they're doing with it yeah. yeah not just like a pawn store or something like that yeah, so. it depends on how well you know him. um i know a guy who runs a pawn shop so I, but i wouldn't go to his pawn shop i would call him at two in the morning and like tell him to get off that shit and come talk to him nice <laughs> I know. I went to school with the guy. He may or may not be on shit. I don't know. I don't care. He's still gonna tell him to get off that shit. Come talk to me. He talked to a man about a dog. Get over here. Yeah. I'm not selling you guns. I'm not buying guns tonight. Just freaking yeah. <laughs> Grab your that was last week. Your blanket. And come on, baby. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on. I'll take offense for you. That's the way it works. You don't get to take offense for yourself. Other people have to be offended for you in order for it to be woke. Uh, what? The, you know, the way wokeness works, right? And this is the, the quintessential particle of it. When you break it all the way down to the pearl of wisdom at the bottom of it, there is a tiny pearl of wisdom. That pearl mm -hmm. is you cannot be woke for yourself. Others must be woke for you. Others have to be offended by something done or said or observed by you in your presence or about your person so that they can be offended and drive the narrative. Offense is the quintessential coin of the realm. Wow, that's deep think, advice. Sit down and think about it. Think about it real hard. Don't not too hard, not so hard you become woke, but I mean, yeah. like, <laughs> love it. They Love say it. it's for the individual, but in reality, the individual has no power in that circumstance. All they can do is be buffeted by the woke winds of the future because other people are becoming offended to buy and for and against the individual in question. There's nothing individualist about it. Just because you identify yourself doesn't make you part of a larger or smaller group. That makes you an mm. individual. People said it best last night. People are people. Individuals are not people. Not. It just reminds me of a song right now. People are people, so why should it be you and I? I don't know the words to the song, but you know what song I'm talking about, huh? No, mm -hmm. you don't. Okay. Does anybody in the chat know? Okay, never mind. Usually I just I'd made it. I'd a few bars and I'd fake it, but uh. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I. People are people, so why should I care? I don't know. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on quickly. You get an E for effort at least. I'm sure someone <laughs> knows the song. I'm just, I don't know. I'm not. I, it, I could uh, probably do some mid 50s, most anything. I'm more of a movies person. Um, I'm about half deaf, so music's never been like my, my big pursuit. Well, movies? Oh, movies? What kind of movies? Yeah. Specifically, I really dig things like Reservoir Dogs. Mm -hmm. um, anything with a good twist ending. I hate it when you can like 
problem with movies today is they're reusing every old hashed out, dried out, mummified freaking idea they can come across. They're like, oh, we're going to do it like this, but with that, that movie and that movie and that movie. All of these writers are, are, are basically looking at each other and saying, well, it's going to be Ocean's Eleven, but on a cruise ship. <laughs> like, no, that's not how you write a movie. You don't, you don't come up with the premise of the movie and then try to create from other movies. That, that's just, that's horrible. That's why everything sucks. Philly Everyone. Flipper is in the house, Paul. Who Philly let Flipper Danny in here? here? Yeah, I, know it was me. I invited her. I, I let anybody in here, man. <laughs> He's an awesome guy. Paul, I got to watch your video today. Thanks I got a for bit joining I gotta us. Do. You've had me so entertained, I forgot to do my bit. So we're going to do my bit. All right, you ready for it? Okay, yeah. Right, let me turn that part off. Go down here to the... Your bit? We're going to go take a look at your very first video. <laughs> Paul! You know Paul about cars? Yes! I'm a paleontologist. Oh, it's okay. There's dynamite in this bag, too. Oh. I am a paleontologist. I'm a paleontologist. Paleontologists study really old stuff. Like crackers. Because bad movies are funny. Yes, they oh are. My so funny. Oh, my oh, first video. Yeah. Paul right. saying mm -hmm. terrible choice. Hi, Michelle. Actually, no. Um, I've found in, in all of this. Hey, Michelle. Um, I've found in Strange and Unusual. I'm sorry. I didn't shout you out earlier. She was talking. Um, so I've found that in all of the backstage conversations that I had, that a first video says quite a bit about the individual who's running the channel. When I find groups that are running channel, the first video is much less informative than it is when a certain specific person is, is you know, arbiter of a channel. Oh, dear Lord. Can I tell uh, you the background about this before you show sure, it? I'll, I'll let here. you finish. Okay. Go ahead. So what was going around? So I had 300 subscribers and I was like, well, I might as well do a video. I have like, I, I think it was 300 or it might have been less than that. What was going around is, is this 19 question challenge. Nobody challenged me. And I was just like, fine, I'll do it myself. I'll just do it myself. And this was right after I got over my um, stutter that I had for five months. And apparently I'm trying to show cleavage in my tats and try that's to look a, cute. Uh, and that's a good plan for YouTube. That'll work. <laughs> And I was recording vertically, not horizontally. So um, with that, you got the intro on that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm so <laughs> Paul, that video didn't make me cry, though. <laughs> well, I mean, for a first video, no, you have, you have to understand. Most people on most channels are either on their second, third, or fourth channel. Very few people picked up a phone yesterday and decided to become a YouTuber. Oh, yeah. Most people upload a video and go, well, I'll just upload one. Yeah, I got that one, too. And I'm going to go ahead and film this because it's just issued my brain just right. And then the next <laughs> thing they know, they've got people that give a shit. And they're like, uh, okay, well, I'll upload something else. And they don't know what to do with it. After. You at least had like a follow through that occurred. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you meant to do it or not, but you you did it. Oh dear Lord, your mm. sales and dreams. Okay, so Philly Flipper Paul um, was a special guest. I think last week or the week before. Yard sales and dreams. Danielle is going to be my special guest tomorrow, and she's like, "Wait, don't watch my first video. It's like somebody slowed my voice down because I wasn't going off any script and was trying to do it on the fly. I know. I know. Oh, dear Lord. My friends are in the chat. I'm embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. Oh, I promise you, this is not the strangest thing of first videos uncovered. Okay. Uh, I did one first video where for some strange reason it was a guy in Walmart filming kids playing with toys. It was a really creepy scene, but when I when I brought it up behind the stack stage, he was like, oh yeah, no, that's like my cousin's kids and they were fighting over something, but it looked 
felt really <laughs> creepy because it looked like from the perspective of the camera like he was sneaking up on them or whatever i think he was trying to prove they were fighting in, in the store and i don't think he meant Am I here? YouTube. yeah you're here so it looked creepy as hell there wasn't nothing i don't know she may have dropped out i can't tell Yep, that would be my guess. All right, so in that case, uh, yard sales and dreams. April Rain, good to see you in her hand, Mac. I really appreciate you, uh, you working, uh, mod today. That's that's lovely. That's absolutely amazing. Um. Oh yeah, much love, baby. Always. I mean, if you went live, I'd come by and check you out at least, probably more often than you check me out but then again i'm a big hairy furry guy you're a hot chick so there's that <laughs> and you know how well that does on youtube <laughs> now in theory she'll be back through in a moment until then we're going to step over to her most viewed video which basically is her intro um she made an intro a while back and apparently it's actually done quite well. She's got around 900 and 980, no, 1248 views. And I didn't like it because I'm an idiot. But we're going to go ahead and like it right now because we're nice guys, right? Even if we are stupid. And I'm going to let this one play through because it's her, her intro. It's absolutely perfect. I see you. I, I bring you up to say. We're going to let this roll. <laughs> She shit. Oh, that's awesome. Wait, I got to turn it down. That's actually glorious. Yeah, uh, no, it's it's pretty good. I bet you hate it. I bet you don't like it. You think it's wrong I, here <laughs> everywhere. But let me tell you a secret. I okay. did my first yeah. intro montage like, like a week ago, and to check, make sure it's clear copyright that I hadn't put anything in there and towards or whatever. I run it through uh, YouTube, and it actually accidentally was published publicly. Oh, I have oh. gotten some amazing positive reviews from that thing, and it's trash. It was just for the song. It was a bit of, of footage that I had laying around all over the place. It's wow. not exactly the same as the intro that I'm actually using. It's a little different because I didn't plan it at all. I just threw it all on, on it because it was as long as the song, this, that, that, this, this, that, this, that, this, that, right? Yep. yep. No particular rhyme or reason to it. I was like, that's awesome. I didn't even mean for you to see it. <laughs> I was going to do a good one. But okay. So the story behind the intro is um, my friend Robin, um, who's real, uh, real creative studios. She does like intros, outros, thumbnails. Um, she's really incredible. She's actually uh, editing all the videos for storage auction pirate. Um, oh goodness. Okay. Belt loop. Much love. And, yeah, and I mean, he has like 150,000 subscribers, so it's a great jig for her, but she made this for me because we were really close and, you know, and, but she used like all of my old footage and I was just like, I was like 105 and now I'm 115 or, you know, and, and then now I'm 120, like, can we, and, and it just covers like the story about how I lost my voice and I did get it back or, 
you know, I still have a stutter. Yesterday was a bad stuttering day. So for all of you who don't know, um, I, I do stutter and it's really embarrassing, but Hey, those are my weaknesses that I just, uh, this, that, this, that. Okay. You, you work with what you got. Uh, I grew up with speech impediment because of badly formed teeth. And so when I would I... talk with a whistle, I couldn't do THs properly and I had a stutter. So for a mm. long time, I just generally, I talked all the time, but I pre pretty much you couldn't understand what I was saying. I was just babbling, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, when I got my teeth fixed, I had to relearn how to speak. And it turns out that learning to speak with proper teeth is a lot easier than learning to teeth talk with teeth stuck you sticking out and touching your tongue. Wow. Right. And yeah. so to this day, I have to kind of, there, there's this little mental thing that I do to keep from having the T's become a stuttering issue because that's where I have T's and D's. I'd like it's yeah. yeah, it just wouldn't get past it. I was trying to talk and it wouldn't come out. And I'd get frustrated, just lose my freaking grit, son. Just make well, me mad. Well, and for me, like if you have like two words that start with the same letter, it's really difficult for me to say. And so sometimes I do you talk know. really slow. Like people think that I'm high all the time or something. And I'm like, no, I just have to learn to talk slow to not have a stutter. I just noticed something, Sasquatch. Yes, ma'am. I, I think I just hit 1,160. Is that what it says? Uh, yes, one, no, one thousand, yes, one thousand one sixty, yes, ma'am. Wow, thank you guys. That's that's the secret to all of this, really. It's it not really so is. what you do, and it's not so much what I do, it's what they do when they meet you and me, exactly. Right. And that's why I love doing the 20 questions. Once again, yard sales and dreams is going to be on tomorrow, and I had Rachel Strickland, she has over 8,000 subscribers and she was just like, wow, I got 12 subscribers from you. You know, it doesn't matter how many subscribers you have, you could still introduce new people to other people, you know. I can explain a little bit of the reticence to that. Um, a lot of people that are YouTubing now weren't YouTubing three years yeah. Three years ago, terms of service were quite a bit different around live streaming and upload. There were lots of other, like the, the idea of live chats and whatnot and what was Street applicable and acceptable mm -hmm. in the live chat. Put, dropping links in live chats used to be an automatic YouTube ban from the chat room. Dropping name, like name dropping in chat was also possible bannable offense and it didn't have to come from the creator it just depended on how they set up the live stream ticker thing uh in some cases emojis would get you deuced out um posting the same phrase more than twice might get you deuced out of a given chat and this was all automatic none of this had anything to do with uh what the creator wanted and so to keep people from from deucing themselves out accidentally creators would set these rules that were more stringent than the actual rules on the chat so that mm -hmm. it would keep more people in chat, more people on the channel, right? Yeah. Come, yeah. come COVID, come the whole work at home thing, and a lot of those restrictions by YouTube were, were taken from being automated to being dictated by the channel creator, and therefore the creator could be held responsible for any deviation from the norm of YouTube. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. At this point, the links and all that stuff were left up to the creator. You can go in and turn all that stuff off, off to this day. But the advent of channels like ours, where we not only post links, but we promote other channels, and we're not a variety show. We're not here just, just what do they call it, uh, resubbing, sub to sub or something like that. Right, so right, right. I'm not sure that does any good because 99% of those subs evaporate within 24 hours yeah yeah it happened to me i um somebody got me over 900 and then um 
which was like 24 subs, three days later, they were gone. And so right. if you look at like the, and I was just like, but uh, I don't want to say the person's channel. Um, but if people don't leave likes or comment or watch your videos, I'd rather have them gone anyway. Like, I don't want people, I mean, definitely check me out. Like if you don't, if you don't want to say stay subscribed, then that's totally fine. That's totally fine. So yeah, no, Bob, I'm not <laughs> what I'm doing. There's other channels out there doing other stuff. They're big. We're not actually yeah. competing for view time. I know a lot of channels act like they're competing for view time. I have no competition. No one is me. Mm -hmm. YouTube relies on a cult of personality, and either you have it or you don't. You can fake it, but not enough to fool everyone. My dogs, I'm sorry. No, I agree. I agree. And I hate it. My, my mommy made me promise I wouldn't start a cult. So I can't start a cult, but apparently a YouTube channel is okay. <laughs> Starting a cult. What would your cult be around uh, about? <laughs> I'm not allowed to liberty to discuss that because I can't have a cult. I can't, I can't do that. Okay. FBI is, is already after him. Don't worry, anyone. He's innocent. I'm, I'm certain I'm on a list somewhere. <laughs> I don't to be allowed to just wander around aimlessly. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> I, I know a little chemistry. It's uh, <laughs> it, can be, it can be interesting. Anyway, anyway, we're, uh, we're actually at the end of the um, show. We're going to... Um, do this thing. I'm going to bring you up on big screen. You Why? Is this everybody. my avatar? Yes, just your avatar. It's a transition scene that I didn't have for a bunch of people because I forgot to do it. Okay. So, so I bring everybody up into a big screen and let you do your, you know, I'm so-and-so, whatever. These people are really cool. Go check them out. I'm also on Getter, Rumble, wherever, you know, whatever you want to shout out, whoever you want to shout out. It's, it's your talk out. It, it, do it your way you've got a show I, you know how this works uh, yeah i just thought that we were gonna go on for a while but we um, are but an if, coming up okay. that's not gonna be part of this the edited okay. show awesome so i mean wow i'm just so grateful for the people that came in um from my side and just like getting to know like your people and our people because we have some of the same subscribers and i appreciate it yeah, I truly appreciate you for like asking me to be on and my apologies um, with my back and not wearing makeup and I don't care about any of that. I just okay. want the creator themselves to come and at least take a swing at explaining their own channel. Because no one can explain it like the creator themselves. Okay. So I used to do a lot of cooking, cooking videos. There's a playlist with that. Um, I've, I've done just a lot of like random videos right now. I'm just doing lives. And, um, not only do I love talking to, um, new people for the first time, just like you and I did, um, Sasquatch, you know, on my paranormal show. And I love to have Oh, I'd love to have you on for 20 questions. Sorry. And good afternoon from Ohio. I'm from Kentucky or not from there, but I live here. Sorry. Tig, stop it. Okay. And then uh, what else do I have to say? Um, just knowing people outside of what their channel is known for is, is what I aspire to do. And just know a person at... at just being them. I, I love that. So, okay. You okay. could, you could take me down now. <laughs> oh no, we're, we're a build you up kind of channel. We don't take people. I get um, <laughs> I'll sit you backstage for about two minutes and we'll okay. be back here. Although I'm not sure what we're going to be able to do with it because uh, none of my YouTube is actually work. I'm not even sure I'm getting out. I'm not a hundred percent. I keep getting these weird, glitches that keep it was happening all night last night too like that anyway i appreciate you coming by thank you i'll be back with you in just a second um all right so that's the show folks you know how this works i come in at the very end of the show and i say something enlightening or uplifting and i make you feel better about yourself but you're all 
just terrible people for being here um so i'm not going to do that instead i'm going to um tell you to, to go find some small channel somewhere some random channel and subscribe to them and wait patiently for them to upload and if it's something interesting let me know about it that and tell them sasquatch sent you because they don't know me and it'll confuse the hell out of them and make me giggle so uh i'm gonna drop this little doohickey off over here and it's gonna be the end of the show but we're not going anywhere hey she that was a cutie in a sundress yeah. i told her i just had to confess <laughs> i got a crush on you but then them long tan legs got me falling